Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany today in um, Limburg 2019 together with James Cooney from Boan Distillery. Very, very good. So Cooney is actually part of the Boan family. Could you tell me a little bit, first of all, why did your family decide to create a brand and also distillery? Well, Jason, um, drink is in our blood um, <laughs> in the Cooney family. Um, my father was be has been involved in the drinks industry for about 40 years okay. now. Wow. Um, basically, he was making manufacturing soft drinks, mm -hmm. importing beer. We actually imported a lot of wine too. Okay. Um, a company we owned was Gilby's Wine, which was Ireland's biggest wine importer. Right. Right. Um, which has been an advantage to us. We've got some great contacts to source barrels for this new project. Oh, yeah, true. I didn't think about that. Great. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've a lot of exciting things coming down the tracks in terms of wood. We also built um, a brewery as well, right. um, and we make cider and cream liqueur. Okay. So wow. we're making quite a lot of drink. Yeah. Um, a distillery is something my father mm -hmm. um, really wanted to build all his yeah. life, uh, and okay. with the previous business, he didn't have time to do that. But or licensing for that matter, maybe. All that sort of stuff, <laughs> yeah. But we sold um, our drinks manufacturing right. business about four years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it allowed us an opportunity to get into the whiskey business mm -hmm. and build our own family distillery. Right. So the distillery is um, based just about a mile from Newgrange, right. okay. which is a very famous metallurgical site mm -hmm. in County Mead, right. about 20 minutes from Dublin Airport. Good. So <laughs> we're going to build Not a visitor. Not far away. Visitor center's coming. Visitor center's coming, so please. Uh, please come visit us. We'll be we'll be there to show you around and yeah. drink some whiskey yeah. and beer and cider. Um, but yeah, no, we're very excited. Um, it's been a very uh, interesting project to date. Yeah. It's it has its challenges, mm -hmm. but we're nearly there, um, yeah. and we're very excited to get going um, with the distillery. Now, the distillery brand name is the Whistler. Why? Correct. So it's actually a funny story. Uh -huh. So always a story. I hope. Yeah, it was. It's a story over whiskey, actually. Right. We had a couple of whiskies uh, one Christmas Eve, but basically we decided to build a distillery and the next challenge was, right, what are we going to call the whiskey? So the distillery was simple enough. We called it Boan Distillery, who's the, she, she, that's named after the goddess of the river Boyne, oh, okay. um, right. called Boan. Um, so it was quite fitting being only um, up the road from the river Boyne right. that we would name the distillery after that famous river. Um, the name The Whistler came from when well, myself and my dad love to whistle yeah. and uh, we kind of just do it without thinking about it. You know, I, I, he'd wake me up at six in the morning going to work whistling and then when I got into the shower I'd be whistling as well and I wouldn't even know I was doing it. Mm -hmm. So we love whistling but um, one Christmas Eve anyway we were walking around the garden with a whiskey in hand as we always do right. <laughs> and we were talking about what we're going to call our whiskey. So we were coming up with all these names and nothing was really working, but we were whistling away because we had a couple of drinks on us and then it hit me and I was like, Dad, why don't we call it The Whistler? Okay. So uh, I'm going to whistle you a song. Please do. Um, and it's a, it's a famous Irish song called The Parting Glass and it's usually sung at the end of a friend's gathering um, saying goodbye to each other over a glass of whiskey, of course. Okay and in this case, a whistler. So I'll just have a sup to wet the lips. Go for it, very, very good. In English, we come sometimes, my grandfather always said we have to wet the whistler. So go for it, now, go for it. Now, now wet the good old whistle there. <laughs> Applause, applause here, <laughs> very good. Maybe just core, just very briefly, your core range. We have a yeah. couple bottles here. Would you like to hold them up and then we'll 
come to the end of that wonderful um, thing. Yeah. Over there? Here it is. Yeah, my favorite one, by the way. Oh, I know the Castrant's your favorite. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, the first, our first release was um, our single malt series. Um, and we launched with the Blue Note, yep. which is um, our seven-year-old single malt. Um, we've aged it five years in bourbon barrel, mm -hmm. and we finished it two years in our Sherry Alarosa casks. Interestingly enough as well, from one of the beers we brew, we brew a very strong imperial right. stout okay. at about 10.8%. We actually mature that stout in the sherry barrels after bottling oh. um, for six months. Mm -hmm. um, really beautiful stout. It won the best beer in Ireland uh, <laughs> last year, so we're very proud of that. Okay, good, and there's good. lots of stouts in Ireland, yeah, so sure. we're very happy with that. Um, and now we have barrels with stout in them, so... Ah. I think well, I can imagine what's going to happen next I, with your whiskey. I, I don't know what we're going to do with those barrels. Um, but yeah, so that was our, our first one, the seven-year-old single malt. Um, it was nice, but... <laughs> the one you love uh -huh. was um, our seven-year-old Castrant, yeah. um, which is 59% uh, yeah. ABV. Um, a lot of people's favorite. I know it was yours. Really good stuff, I must admit. Dangerously good. <laughs> Dangerously good, exactly, exactly. And then you also had one last one here? And then we have the, the 10-year-old the ten as yeah. well, which follows kind of the same following finish as the seven-year-old. It's eight years in bourbon barrel, um, and then we finished two years in sherry as Very well. Good. So that was the three yep. single malt series we launched. Okay. And you have your own distillery, it's built, the pot stills are in. You'll start when with the actual so distil we're distillation? Going to be distilling in August. August. All going well. Um, we're very excited. We have, without mentioning any names, we have a, a very exciting, um, talented distiller joining us right. um, in July, who I think is going to bring a lot to Bowan Distillery. Um, and it's a big distillery, so we're going to be laying down quite a lot of barrels. Okay. It's a capacity of about 800,000 LPA all right, all right. Um, a year, yep. so um, we're very, very excited. Very, very good. And other whiskies will follow, I assume, right? There's, there's a lot of stuff coming down, coming down the tracks. We have a lot of geniuses in Bowan Distillery, and I think um, everyone wants a bit of this and a bit of that. So we have a lot of stuff coming down the tracks. We will be distilling our gin as well as part of a loop system to our distillery. Um, and we also want to play around a lot with beer okay. um, and cider as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of stuff coming down the tracks. Fabulous. Yeah. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the, from, the, from the view of an American here in Germany, together with James Cooney from Bowan Distillery. And where can we find you in Germany? Who's your partner? Whiskey Max. Exactly. Whiskey Max, and they work with different retailers here, so always available. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Jason, great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>